We say we believe in holistic education. That's another platitudinous statement in all our documents, holistic education. We educate minds as well as hearts. But people like Martin Luther King has said, intelligence alone is not enough. Intelligence plus character, that is the true goal of education. Why do we educate? What do parents say they want schools to do? And I think increasingly, people are recognizing, including business. Business has said to us, we can teach the technical skills. We want you to send us people who can demonstrate persistence and perseverance and honesty. Let me think of honesty for a moment. Why do some people get fired from their jobs? Dishonesty. That happens in some cases. So character attributes like respect, responsibility, honesty, perseverance, etc., are the responsibility of the school as well as the home. I hasten to say that parents are the first character developers. But it does not always happen in every home. When I was a little child, a lot of character development was done at the dinner table when we all ate together. That doesn't happen always today where people have time as a family to eat together. So where are they learning character development? One of the 16 trends that I talked about, one of the trends says this, that scientific discoveries will call for ethical decision making in our young people. When we think of some of the science that is already happening or on the horizon, stem cell research, human cloning, nanotechnology, research using animals, research using other human beings. I could go on and on and on about what's already happening in science. Prolonging our age, food irradiation, I could go on and on. On what basis are our young people going to make those decisions? if we don't help them address ethical decision-making. It is too important to be left to chance. Character development is important. We have to help our students develop the heart, the attitude towards humanity, what it means to be a human being in an interdependent world. I'll go back to my saying, which I, I and a few of my friends often use. When I'm, in a, when, when I'm a little old lady and I'm in a nursing home, you've heard me say that before, as Phil Vincent often says it as well, and I'm in a nursing home, if I ask for a glass of water, will one of your children give it to me? That's another reason. I want them to develop caring, nurturing character. We will need those young people, not only because they're bright, but because of their humanity, their generosity, their empathy. If minorities are going to become majority, how are they going to empathize across the lines that divide us in society? There are so many reasons that come together that says education is more than the educating the minds. It's also educating them for humanity's sake.